is Wednesday. You are with your girl Soso on the Soraya Alexander Show. How are you tonight? Welcome to my radio listeners on Liberty 92.3 FM. From the north of the island to the south of the island to the east of the island and to the west of the island. I bid you, I bid you a wonderful Wednesday evening and also to all my people on social media i bid you welcome to the show how are you today my people and let me shout out miss b um she is from my area and she always listens to the show welcome welcome tell your friends people it's a very interesting show tonight so gather your friends for us to talk and as i said to you i always go to look at things from a different perspective and that we can wrap together and understand. And my show, I know people have been talking about calling. It's not a calling show. If you look at Kelly Claxton and those people, this is the type of show I have. It's not a calling show. So you just have to stay with me and wrap with me. And if you really need to speak to me, you can always um, message my page, Sir Alexander, or you'll get all my information there and I will surely get back in touch with you. Are you guys still recovering from jazz? Well, I am. I am. I am recovering from jazz. So let me tell all you something. I had so much fun at jazz. Let me tell you. I had so much fun at, at jazz. Okay, I was fine, everything. Um, when I walked into my house, I was cool. But I got up the next morning, I'm like, oh my God, my knee is hurting me. Because that's a knee a couple of years ago. I had an accident, re, re, re. And then when I got up, I realized it was a bit swollen. I jump up, I jump up, I jump up. So as anything else, I know what to do. I had to rest and, you know, prop up the leg. So, you know, I could be fine. And in no time, it was, it was you know, okay. I had a lot of fun. People, it's okay. It's okay to go out there to have fun. And it was wonderful to see young women, middle-aged women, elderly women out there enjoying themselves. You know, sometimes we believe, oh, I must have a partner. I must have somebody to go and have fun with. Let me tell all you something. I had so much fun on Saturday when my son was like, my mommy do not care. I had low. French is in my heritage. It's in my blood. My mom was French. So you know this girl gonna go wild for cassava, and they did not disappoint. They did not disappoint. It was lots of fun. Take time for yourself, people. We live in a very wicked world. We live in a world where people don't care for you. Family, friend, for nobody cares about you. Always make the decisions that will make you happy as long as it does not affect other people. As long as it does not harm other people. Not everybody's going to be your friend. Not everybody's going to love you. It is impossible for everybody to be your friend. And it is impossible for everybody to love you. Go out there. Make the time. And you know, I know that, you know, I on my show on Monday, I gave uh, the tourism people flack when it is a flag. This is who I am. You know, I always talk about things. But, you know, all in all, there's a lot of improvement to be done on jazz, but we ain't talking about jazz tonight because we have a serious, serious, serious case to talk about tonight. So, all in all, despite the hiccups, I think jazz was absolutely brilliant. Kind to the English people, it was absolutely splendid. I had fun. You know, it's good to go out. And jazz caused me to have so much fun. Now I want to do it every weekend. I want another I want another something. I'm having withdrawal symptoms from jazz being over, especially Cassava. Yeah, Kingdom Night was great and everything. But you know, Cassav just rocked my soul. Now let me tell you why I liked Cassav so much. As a child growing up from primary school, this is all I knew. So Cassav, this is what I knew. So it's it's in me blood. And what I want the Ministry of Tourism to do, please, please, please. Bring some good reggae artists. I heard Buju was great. You know, everybody have their people. Awesome. But bring some good gospel and reggae artists. My son gave me a couple of names. 
um, to bring down here. When I tell him, forward it to the Minister of Tourism. Speak to him. Tell him, you know, your young people, what you'll want to hear. And I heard him on a show on Tuesday saying that any ideas or whatever, send it to him. So if the young people have ideas, you know, give it to him because we need to listen to our young people. They are the future and they are wonderful. So, so people, I hope you are awesome. But tonight we are going... We are going to go a bit hard tonight because I have spoken on this issue about, you know, how we treat our young people, how we treat our students. And apparently, it is what I have been saying is it is falling on deaf ears because we, when we're dealing with young people, when we are dealing with students, we have to ensure we nip it's in the bud right away. But you know, we as mothers, we become very, very emotional when it comes to our children. And let me tell you one thing I have done as a mother. I always try to stay calm and look at the situation because in my own flesh, I can do a lot of things that would not be right. So sometimes you have to let the Holy Spirit take control over you. Now, Mommy, Mommy Jackson, post one, Mommy Jackson, Sana Jackson, I feel for you. Now, let me tell you why I am discussing this tonight. Radio Land, um, Cyber Land, let me tell you why and soon to be on Liberty TV. Let me tell you why I am discussing this. Many people sent me, I didn't see it, but on Tuesday, many people sent it to me. And let me tell you, some of the people who sent it to me were young people. Were young people who sent it to me. But before I go deep into my show, <coughs> let me shout out Nadine Wilkinson. While walking into jazz on Saturday, I know her parents, right, from long way back. Her parents, her dad in particular, said to me, Wendell, he said to me, So, so, my daughter loves you. My daughter adores you. So, so can't do any wrong for her. Nadine Wilkinson, thank you for such a wonderful compliment. It means that you understand that I am balanced, you know. I am not always right as anything else. I'm human. I'll make my errors. I'll make my, you know, I have my shortcomings. But it's wonderful to hear a young person say that. It really makes me feel good. And um, my show is really to reach out to everybody, including my young people. Thank you, Nadine. <laughs> keep listening, keep watching, whatever. Keep following my page, Sarah Alexander. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Now, let's go back to what I was discussing, post one. Miss Jackson placed on her wall on Tuesday, and as I said to you, young people sent it to me. Even my neighbor, my neighbor sent it to me, because my neighbor know I, I do my shows. And it said, I'm boiling with rage. Piss just getting a video of the so-called good boys beating my child. I will post the videos tomorrow after I go to the school and make a report at the police station. This bullying must stop. I'm so pissed. I will forget what I stand for to protect my children from these so-called good boys bullies. Now, let me tell you something. Bullying is never good. Bullying is never good. And for some reason, the bullies look for those who look, you know, like an easy target, an easy prey to go after. Now, let me tell you something. When I was in school, nobody messed with me. I was not a bad John or anything, but nobody messed with me. And we didn't really have that bullying business going on back then. If it was, it was not anything where it was so dire. So this lady is saying that she is boiling with rage because she got a video of her son being bullied. Now we are going to go on to post two. And she wrote, my mind is not at peace, but I will stand for my child. So I have reported the matter to the police 
the principal and vice principal are not present at the school today. However, I spoke to a few teachers with regards to the issue, which most of them are not aware of. I have made a call to the District 5 office in Mikud, who said the person responsible is not in. As if today no one seemed to be in until I take matters into my own hand, then everyone will be in. I await a meet with the Grand Rivers Secondary School in Denry tomorrow with regards to this matter. As for now, I will share the video which is already circulating of my son being beaten on two separate days. Don't tell me I'm not supposed to post face because the minors, because they are minors. My child also is a minor. This crap has to stop for my child and many other children. Now, let me tell you my issue with all this. My issue with this is the fact that she tried to contact, let me go back, the principal, the vice principal, they were not present. However, I spoke to a few teachers present with regards to the issue. And then she said she contacted District 5 office in Mikud and the person who is responsible is not there. And she said she would have gone to the Granite School tomorrow with regards to the matter. Um, are we sleeping in this country? I have spoken on issues like that concerning the Leon Hess School where parents were not informed. There was another issue where I spoke about the young lady was suspended for seven weeks and nobody was looking into the issue. Come on, our education system here is lacking. What is going on in this country? Something is wrong with our education system. And I, and I know, because when my children went to school, I was a pit bull. I stood up for what I know is right. No, let me tell you, nobody's going to save you, um, um, my lady. They're going to spin you around, spin you around, spin you around. And like you say, you have to report it to the police, or you have to take matters in your own hand and maybe go and commit a crime that you don't want to commit. But, you know, where are the processes that are supposed to be there in situations like that? And some of you parents who have your children bullying other people's children. You need to go to the school and ensure that behavior your child is displaying is corrected. Because parents always have the habit, is not my child, my child not doing anything. And I saw the video and the video is ridiculous. Now, Crime is never going to stop in St. Lucia because there is never a place to go for redress. The lady saw the videos. The lady said she tried to contact the vice principal, the principal, the district five um, um, officer. They said the person was not there. She spoke to some teachers. Then we come and we say we want our students, we want our young people to be productive. But what processes are there to ensure that our young people are going to be productive? We do not want the lady, Ms. Jackson, taking matters into her hands. Now, there are some very, very ignorant parents. I'm going to tell you. There are parents, remember I showed you something about Miss Gentle? There are parents that would have just gone to the school and beat up the students. Now, this would not be right. So the, the school or the education system must be able to have processes in place to deal with situations like this. So you mean to tell me the lady went to the school, the principal wasn't there, the vice principal wasn't there. There were some teachers she spoke to. Couldn't those teachers direct, where is the plan that when a parent comes to a school complaining about something like this, where is the plan, the organizational chart to show you the steps where you have to go to if vice principal pala, principal pala, this one pala. So you mean to tell me none of the teachers could have said, okay, the next step is the counselor. For the parent to go and speak to the counselor. In my mind, 
She should not even be speaking to the principal or the vice principal or anybody without the counselor. Because the counselor would be trained, would be trained in handle, handling situations like this and directing whoever the principal, vice principal, as to the next move. Do we have a manual? Do we have a handbook that would say this is the path you have to take in order for us to rectify the situation the answer is no based on my research the answer is no what are we doing we cannot say that we want productive young people and students when we have not set the path the right path for them to follow it's a lot of bottlenecks and listen to what the lady said miss jackson said that, you know, she don't want to, she will take matters into her hands. I don't think that she wants to take matters into her hands. What I believe is that she's frustrated. And this is what gets people frustrated. Many things, many processes throughout the government offices, throughout schools, can frustrate anybody. This is more than madness, you know. And post free today, on, on Tuesday, she is saying... She is feeling angry. I have rage in my mind, heart, and I know I can go to jail to protect my child. Now I know why he suddenly didn't want to go to school and complained his body hurting. The length I want to go for my child, I will be arrested. I'm hurting, but I'm not stopping. You know, lady, Miss Jackson, I empathize with you. I understand what you're saying. You're hurt and the length you would go for your child to ensure that your child is safe is understandable. She is saying she will go to jail for her child. You mean to, you, you mean to tell me, um, are there logs at the school? You know, something, I, am, I myself am getting very irate. Something is not given. Something is not given. You mean to tell me there are not logs at that school? Or at any school that this parent came with a complaint and when the principal, vice principal, or whoever come, looks in that log and say, okay, this person came, this, that's the person's number, this situation is dire. If a parent just came to talk to a principal or normal stuff and they're not there, but you escalate a situation like that, you have a parent saying that she wouldn't mind going to jail for her child. You have a parent saying that. She wouldn't mind going to jail. It tells me our education system needs revamping. What is this? What in the heck is this? Is this madness? So hear this. Not having any correct processes. We're going to have so many victims. The parent is going to retaliate for her child. Go to jail. That's one life statistic loss. She may go look for the boys. God know what she's gonna do for the boys. Another to the boys. Another statistic. What are we doing? I have come here for years and months and spoke about our education system and processes, and everybody just sitting down on their laurels. What are y'all doing? Yes, we can have everything nice, but when you do not look at the young people and the things they have been going through within the school system what 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 do you think what is the outcome crime because we have young men bullying and i'm going to show you the video in a bit not now but we have young men bullying a child a younger one we have them bullying the younger one and then what is going to happen this young child being bullied and, and hear what the lady saying now she is knowing that this is the reason why his body is hurting. you beating up the person's child. Are you feeding him? Are you feeding him? Are you clothing him? Are you taking care of his medical needs? Are you the one sending him to school? Are you the one ensuring that he eats a hot meal? You know, you can torment this child to the point where this child can say that you see me i cannot take this again because apparently based on what the mother wrote miss jackson based on what she wrote apparently he wasn't telling his mommy anything 
Apparently, he was just saying, oh, my body hurting him. But he's not saying that his friends have been beating him up for a long time. Now, you've beaten up somebody's child. You know, we need to change our laws, you know. That all of you who bully people, children, and hurt them, you could have given this child internal injuries. We, we need to have proper processes when these things happen. Documented. You get the medical people to examine him. You have a report. You have whatever. So later down in the years or whatever, if this child starts experiencing some difficulties, they will know it's from you all beating. And you all, whether you you um, an adult or whatever, you have to suffer the consequences. Where are the processes? I'm tired coming here and speak. Am I speaking to the wind? Wind. Oh, wind. I'm speaking to the wind. I have come here so many times talking on school issues, brought guests to talk on this. And what has happened? It falls on deaf air. What is going on? A parent is in anguish because y'all ain't listening to her. This is more than madness. And with this, I will take my first commercial break. If it were a perfect world, I would never leave my seat. My fingers would do the clicking. My card would do the pain. And if it were a perfect world, my items would be sent hassle-free. From this location to me, via air or sea. And if it were a perfect world, in this one building would be warehousing, stress-free customs clearance facilities, an island-wide delivery. Fortunately, the world is that perfect because I've chosen West Indies Shipping, the leaders in imports, exports, clearance, and deliveries for over 20 years. Call them West Indies Shipping. Telephone 459-0444. Catch the Sir Alexander Show on Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Right here on 92.3 Liberty FM. This show will revolutionize your mind. Your host, Soso, awaits you. See you there. And thanks for staying with me, guys. Radio City, Radio Land, and social media. Thanks for staying with me. It's a very interesting show. And you can learn a lot. Now, let me tell you something, people. Let me tell you something. When children are bullied like this, you know you can change this child's character. And if this situation is not addressed, you know what can happen? This child can turn into a hitman. This child can turn into a bad boy. Because of what y'all did to him. And because of the delay in ensuring that he is safe. I looked at him, I looked at the video and I was like, what in God's green earth is going on? You, you're abusing a, 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 a child like this. And this little boy was there, you know, and, and you know what hurts me? You know what hurts me? Let me tell you something. When my son used to go to Cassius Comprehensive Secondary, they have prefects, they have different things, you know, happening, and you see what's going on. You know what the children used to say when Akim there? We are doing nothing wrong. We're not saying nothing. And they say, you see, Akim, Akim never know anything because we're not telling him. Because when, if they are about to do anything wrong and Akim is there, they stop. They stop. They respected him so much that they stop. Nobody would be bullied. There was a particular girl who was extremely tall and they used to bully her and he stepped in and said y'all stop this and they stopped and they all became her friend we need people to stand up and say this is wrong and we need people that when the bullies see them they say hey you see me even at compre the boys the so-called bad boys whatever they call them when they see akim hey akim they're, they're okay so we we need to have these kind of figures in the various schools right to stop this kind of madness this child can turn into a hitman and everybody all of them are there all of them holding him this one with a belt they calling the person child telling the person child to say that he is you know in the derogatory way telling him that you know he's gay 
beating him up, telling him all sorts of things. I think the child even had a bad hand. The child is saying, oh my God, I'm saying this and Mother Jackson, I feel your pain. Saying this as a mother, I myself get vexed. Because he is, she is saying, Miss Jackson is saying that she is feeling, you know, the child is saying his body is hurting him. And when they were beating him up with the belt and all the rubbish they were doing, they were saying to, um, he was saying to them, I have a bad hand. You're hurting my bad hand. Then they said, oh, well, let us take the other hand, not the bad hand. What is, what, what is this? Explain to me, what is this? This is madness. This is insanity. My God, my God, when we think we are making progress, we're going right back. We're going back to zero. The Ministry of Education, your processes seems to be lacking. And I saw Dr. Jimmy Fletcher. I didn't have time to read every, everything. But when I get a chance, I'll read. He was talking about this. Our education system is failing. Our young people, it's failing. In the, you know, our men and women. And Dr. Jimmy Fletcher is right. It is failing our young people. What are we doing? I am irate tonight because we need to do better. I am going to leave this earth and then it's going to be the same cycle over and over again. Too much talk and no damn action. Too much talk and no action. He can turn out to be a monster because of what the bullies did him. And then the nonsense about principal not there. Let me tell you, have your logbook and see what is happening in your schools. Every school in St. Lucia is a problem. I do not care if you all say this is the highest school, the top school, or the low school. Every single one of them has a problem. And our education system is failing our young men and women in ways unimaginable. Hear what the lady is saying. Post 3. I have rage in my mind and heart. Now, the only way, the only reason she has rage in her heart and mind is that she has a situation. A very important situation. She wants to see the authority. She's seen nobody. So, obviously, she'll get frustrated. Do we have enough? Con Lord, I'm just tired of talking. I am tired of talking. My tongue long out of my mouth. Well, as Pali. Me tired talking. Do we have in we we invest in money in everything, but we I've I've always said that in order for a country to be very successful, you have to invest in human resources. We want the best of the best, right? We want the best of the best. But we do not want to invest in the education system to ensure that we have good men and women coming out of these institutions. Now, what some of y'all are going to say? Oh, it's the parents to raise the children. Yes, the parents have to raise the children. But the parents are not qualified in terms of situations like that. Where is the counselor? Beating up the person child make you feel so good. I'm not saying children will have their little squabbles, their little thing. Fine. But, you know, this bullying has to stop. Now, I saw some people saying, you know, sometimes we like to look at other situations and say, oh, this person doing that, that person doing that. In order for us to get a sense of relief from bullying, measures must start from preschool. And in order for us to get a relief, we must have trained personnel. You know, people going and do a, a two-day course and they train. We have, we have a lot of people who have done their, their degrees or whatever, but are we really sending them on refresher courses, training them so that they can deal? A school with like 700 and something students, you have one counselor. Are you people crazy? Are you people crazy? Are you people insane? Because let me tell you something, you are dealing with students coming from various backgrounds. And the lady is saying in post 3, I have rage in my mind and I know I can go to jail to protect my child. And this is how mothers are, right? Because imagine when I'm walking on, on the street, still motherly instinct. I would put my son on the safe side 
and I would go on the dangerous side. He would push me back on the safe side. He would say, Mommy, go on the other side. This is just who mothers are. We never stop. Maybe fathers can stop being fathers. But we never stop being mothers until we hit the grave. That's when our children are on their own and our spirit will just dwell with them. You never stop being a mother until you hit the grave. Because I remember my mother, you know, buying stuff and this and that for me. I was like, but mommy, I can do that on my own, you know. They always believe they are there. I know, I, I, I know it. I know how parents feel about their children. And the lady is saying, now I know why he suddenly didn't want to go to school and complain his body hurting him. I have witnessed... A parent coming into a school beating somebody's child or a teacher and the child had some melee beat the child badly and the and the father just walked into the school and gave her some slaps that's not right it's not right it went to court or whatever they did their settlement but listen do not allow parents to feel the need that they want to take matters into their own hands a principal job does, and I know the teachers, God bless them, because I know what they go through. A principal job is a 24-7 job. A minister of education job is a 24-7 job. Not every day you're going to get situations like this. Not every day you're going to realize that you have a situation like that at your school. But as I said, if you had logs... And before you leave, or maybe the principal never come out, but if the teachers had said the counselor is there, you never know. That parent may have left with some sort of, okay, oh, okay, she talked to me. I am going to go home, relax with my son, talk to him. And then when the principal come, we'll meet and we'll have somebody from the district office because the district office is res responsible for the district. And then we'll, we'll take it further We'll have a plan of action. What are we going to do? We're going to ensure, at the expense of the Ministry of Education, ensure that this child gets a thorough medical, ensure that he's okay, because the school has insurance, make sure that the child is okay, and, you know, then we have a plan as to how we are going to ensure these boys are dealt with so that they can be better men for the future. But no, 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 is sent her on her own. She said, the length I want to go for my child, I will be arrested. I'm hurting, but I'm not stopping. Now, hear this, eh? <coughs> Excuse me. This happened. She wants to go after the little boys because she's hurting. She, she does something crazy. Then you know what's going to happen? The little boy's parent, um, um, family will come for her. And then it's going to be a killing here, a killing there, a crime here, a million, a million there. Why? Because the dumb educational system processes ain't got system, ain't got no processes. No, 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 no processes. Where are the processes? I have come here and talk my lungs out, my tongue out, my throat out. I have to drink plenty water every time. Talking about those issues. You know, and, and I can understand. I understand. This would be my first reaction. I'm going to look for you. I'm going to look for you. You're beating up somebody's child. Now, people, I am going to play the video of what happened to this child. Say that. You know what? Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. What other again? I just a
Oh, you my Mommy, Where's that guy? Who you need this thing? Give me shots! Eh! Ah, you're a celebrity! Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, now we still have some good students because one of the students said to the bullies oh, well, i stop that you know what the bully said to the other to the other student who was trying to stop this you want your share you want your share my word and my lord y'all saw it for yourself y'all heard it radio land you heard it for yourself they were abusing and bullying the person shan now any mother seen that would get angry and my my thing is that if something like that happens isn't i tell you in lusha and said lusha nothing is with business until it becomes crisis nothing is with business right this young child and he's you know this young boy who was bullied he could say you see me i don't want to go to school again my mommy gone and then this child can commit suicide there are many students in the United States of America, 10 years, 12 years, who have committed suicide because of bullying. Are we sleeping in St. Lucia? Are we sleeping? Are we living in a la la land? What is going on? This is, this is more than egregious. What is happening here? And he is that, imagine, mother the mother i understand how you're feeling i'm not gonna take that away from you from being angry i understand how you're feeling how you are feeling because they're taking the belts to be the child then they're asking him to say he is a this he's a that beating him up on 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 the ground you know that would break any mother now there are some fathers let me tell you there are some fathers that would not care there are some fathers that would just go find the boys and dispose of them there are some fathers that would have just gone find the boys and dispose of them immediately that's what they would have done dispose of them what are we doing in this country honorable sean edward what are you going to do about this now sean edward is at is at the head right he may not know everything. And this is why I'm saying, as the head of the Ministry of Education and the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education, where is the handbook to handle situations like this? We are failing our young men and women to the point of no return. We are failing our young men and women to the point of no return. We got to do what we have to do. And, and I agree with um, Jimmy F Fletcher. And I'm just going to read a little bit of what he said. He said, we really need to elevate and expand the discussion on development in this country. I totally agree. Development is not only... I know everybody's bubbly about the jazz. I'm not, but I'm knocking jazz down. But development is not only jazz. Development is not only carnival. Development is not only the creative industry. Development is not only the youth industry. The biggest development is your human resources. And he said, I want to know where are we going with our education system that continues to fail large numbers of young men and women every year? I want to know how we are going to deal with the epidemic of chronic non-communicable diseases that strikes down so many adult St. Lucians every year and the, and the twin killers of vehicular accidents and homicides that are robbing us of so many of our youth every year. I need to know how we are addressing the serious problems of food insecurity 
and water insecurity, which are getting worse every year. There are so many issues to, 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 to ponder upon. And it is very true what he said. And the, the point I want to expound on is the fact that we are failing a number of young men and women every year with our educational system. These are the discussions we need to have and we can do better because the first step to recovery is ensuring that the first steps of our children, the toddlers, preschool, kindergarten, primary, secondary, tertiary, that we set a right path. We are failing them. We are failing them because this situation, I should not have been here. I should not have been here. It's like I've done like three, four shows on the same topic. I have done like three to four shows on the same topic. That's on the new show, the Sir Alexander show, and my other shows, I must have done that umpteen times. But nobody is listening. Everybody's in a fairy tale. Okay, we're not in no fairy tale. We have to deal with reality. And what I find about us, St. Lucians, what I find about us, we have to stop seeing red and yellow. And if something is wrong, irrespective of who is in power we speak about it for the betterment of saint lucia and not for the betterment of any political party it's for the betterment of saint lucia and how are we going to drive development of our country when the root where we're supposed to plant our seed is not good the soil is not good our education system all our schools across the board. I don't care if you're a top school. I don't care if you are a lapo school. I don't care what you are. All our schools are having issues. We need to do better. I mean, what, what are we doing, St. Lucia? What are we doing? These are the things I need to see you go match about. These are the things I want to see we agitating for our young people. For processes because right now we have a mother who is distressed and we have a son who doesn't want to go back to school i'm gonna ask my producer to to play that clip again what are we doing what are we going to do my people and this thing has had over a thousand shares because people are upset we need some resolution not only for this one incident but to have as i've said processes in place to handle bullying and let me tell you i i know the mother is irate but i was reading some of the comments and people are telling her do what you have to do girl wherever because if if not they will think it's okay and continue I'm annoyed. I agree. All, all I would advise Miss Jackson to do is, um, I know you're angry because I would be hella angry. I would have been hella angry. I would have been so angry. And um, just try, just try to do things in the right way. But um, what, what I'm advising people to do, 
take to the media and, and express your concerns because hey, 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 it is our country and we are concerned about it and we need things done properly so our children would not suffer. I don't have children school age going to school, but come on. And, 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 and her situation is really getting me angry and I'll tell you why. Because it's just a couple of months ago, maybe two months ago, I was speaking about the students, yeah, because it was in, yeah, April, May. Yeah, about two months ago, I was speaking about this other student who they suspended for over seven weeks and nobody, because of something maybe they said, she said about her teacher, and nobody was resolving the situation. Why do we have district officers? Why do we have a deputy permanent secretary? Why do we have a minister for education? All right? Why do we have principals, vice principal, district officer? Why do we have all these people? Are, are they there for show? To just get the big salaries? And then we as parents, students, Joe Public, having issues and nobody is attending to them. This is more than nonsense. Right? And then, you know, people are angry. So, some, some of the advice they're giving her on her page is because people are emotional. It's not the best of advice, but it's because people are emotional. People are talking. People are saying things. We cannot allow them. And somebody said, that's why there will always be evil. And when people see them walking down the road, mad people feel sorry for them. Lord, those children that bully people, children will make, make me sin my soul. I will not be nice. So you, you, you see the length people can go. You hurt somebody's child. Somebody's giving the lady advice, you know, to do chebo and them do evil you know, when you see them walking in the street, you know, their pants have a hole or they're walking naked in the street or their hands on their head or they're sleeping underneath the market. You, you know, let us as responsible leaders put measures in place to arrest this situation. I am tired coming here. I have spoken about that. I am tired. We last me tired. Me tired coming here talking about that. Lots of talk. No action. And, and Jimmy Fletcher put it, Dr. Jimmy Fletcher put it very right when he said, we're failing our young people in the education system. Our men and women, large and, but you know, just, just, just failing them. What are we doing? What are we doing? And all you're good for is to fight for politicians. Y'all, y'all make me sick. Y'all make me sick. All you're good for on Facebook is is to fight for politicians. I vex tonight. Because let me tell you, when there's a Roro, say you have a show and it's a Roro, you've seen 500, 600, thousands of them watching. But when it is things to push the country forward, all of them putting their tails between their legs and they're running and hiding in a corner. Because you know what? They want to gratify themselves. It's a Roro, it's politics, politician. And I heard a talk show host saying, this is the appetite of the people of St. Lucia, politics. So, so he has to feed them politics. Really? This is why our country is in this mess. This is why our country is in this mess. Because all you can see is politics, politics, politics. Now, before I get too angry with y'all, I'm going to take my final commission break. If it were a perfect world, I would never leave my seat. My fingers would do the clicking. My card would do the paying. And if it were a perfect world, my items would be sent hassle-free from this location to me via air or sea. And if it were a perfect world, in this one building would be warehousing, stress-free customs clearance facilities, and island-wide delivery. Fortunately, the world is that perfect because I've chosen West Indies Shipping. The leaders in imports, exports, clearance, and deliveries for over 20 years. Call them West Indies Shipping. Telephone 459-0444. Catch the Sir Alexander Show on Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Right here on 92.3 Liberty FM. 
this show will revolutionize your mind. Your host, Soso, awaits you. See you there. Yes, and remember to catch me every Monday and Wednesday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. I have my slot is an hour. And I know many people say, oh, so sorry, what to hear you for more? You got to come to the show on time. You have to remember, I start at 9 and I end at 10. I'm here with you twice a week. We don't know if we may take more slots. But for now, we are here 9 to 10. I know a lot of people, I meet you all on the streets. You'll love me. And let me tell you, it is just so refreshing. Um, I was, you know, at a particular place, you know, and they would say, I know you. A lady walked up to me, I know you from the back. And let me tell you, so many people, and it is so refreshing. Let me tell you, it is so refreshing that I have a lot of middle-aged ladies who look so fantastic and they are listening to so, so. It is really good. Let me tell you, I cannot walk anywhere I go, people recognize me. Imagine I went to, I went to jazz and, and somebody said that they had to, to, to ask if this was so so this girl was just popping looking hot God, let me tell you i ain't got to put all the dingling on them but just my nice dress i had on me and i and um i put my nice earrings this earrings i'm actually wearing is from my mom you know so you know i have my earrings on and just simple so i i thank all of y'all y'all really show me love and appreciation thanks for all the, the the private gifts and the nice things that i'm getting thanks so much i really do appreciate you now somebody was saying eh, and on the lady's post that these children have to be very careful who they are messing with because they can mess with the wrong family and then it's a war bloodshed that starts i want the ministry of education not to just handle this one situation. I want y'all to change things around. And I believe maybe y'all need to contact people like um, Dr. Jimmy Fletcher. You need to contact people like Soraya Alexander. You need to contact real people to, to help you and give you solutions. Because, But we are working for free. I don't work for free. Because freeners don't pay my bills. Right? to give you solutions as to how to do things. But you know, sometimes people are intimidated by other people to steal their shine. Nobody come in and steal anybody's shine. People come to do a job and, and out to make our country better. And I, and I realize that, is that there is this thing in this country, if you're not in my circle, if you're not in my clique, you know, you, you, you may be close to a certain person, but you're not in my clique, you're not in my circle, you can't come, you cannot come in. And this is what keeping our damn country back. This is what keeping our country back. Be about country. I do not care with position. I don't, I don't, people don't have to see me. I have my show to speak, right? I care about other people and where our country is going. And, and the lady is very correct. The lady is very, very correct to say, you don't know who you would be messing with. The lady is so upset. And all, all, let me tell you this, let, 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 Ministry of Education. It's the same thing I said about Joe Boy and, and the jazz. Tourism is a vital part of our GDP. We have to ensure we have the correct people in place when dealing with our international artists, not to make foolish decisions. Right now, I heard the minister said that they're going to bring back Joe Boy and um, Keys, Daniel, for Jeune Creole. This is a lesson for you all to learn. Put the right people in position. Friend, 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 the people who could make things happen are sidelined. And, and it's the same thing with the school for donkey years. And I'm not only speaking specific to this administration. I'm speaking for donkey years, both administrations. What are we doing? Dragging our feet. What, what, what is going on? Beating up the person's child like this. Mr. Producer, play this tape again for me, please. This is just crazy. Say that again. Use a what? Say that again. Use a what? Say it louder. Say that again. Say that again. What other again? I just. Say that again. Say that again. 
And he is saying, How is me? You're doing things, Gasa. How is me? So it tells me that we have young people, students going to school who don't know wrong and right. But sometimes we are quick to blame the parents for the bullies. Some of these bullies come from good homes. Some of these bullies come from good homes. And the mother is the one who shared the video. I've, I've seen, you know, students fighting. I, I have decided not to post students fighting on my page but to see this one in particular i am just sick i am just fed up of talking and in two months the ministry of education and from the time the thing happened with hairs and then the other school and the child and now this school they should have had a plan in place this is what we want the administration to come tell us. Let us know what is there. Use the public relations to let us know what, what's the new things. We, we don't want to hear about this child getting 10 ones, this child getting how many c sex who is the island scholar. Clap, clap, clap. We love that. We want to know what measures you have put in place to make the school environment a better place for our students, for the teachers, for the principal and all the other stuff. What measures have you put in place? Have you gotten um, more counselors? How can a school with 700 students with only one counselor? Some students say they go to the, to the secondary schools and the, their entire five years never spoke to the counselor, never see the counselor. Children go through things. Sometimes children, if they're not close to their parents, they would tell a friend. But if you have a counselor who is readily available to assist the students, the counselor would be there. The counselor would be there to assist and to help them. And I'm hoping that the Ministry of Education, Honorable Sean Edward, Deputy PS, Miss Michelle Charles, and all those who get the big, big, big Benjamins. We want results for those little children who were abused. And we also want programs in place to help those young men to be better individuals. We cannot just sit by idly and just say, K Sarah, Sarah, I am fed up. I am tired of this, this, this thing that is happening. So my people, I hope that there will be solutions and resolutions to this problem. And have a wonderful rest of the week. And so, so it's going to see you on Monday if God's Bye.